The yellow crazy ant, Anaplolopus gracilopes, is a notorious invasive species that has garnered attention due to its unique behaviors, large colonies, and detrimental impacts on ecosystems, agriculture, and human activities. Originally from Southeast Asia, these ants have spread to various parts of the world, causing ecological disruptions and economic losses. This video aims to provide a comprehensive overview of yellow crazy ants, focusing on their ecology, behavior, impacts, and management strategies. Ecology and Distribution Yellow crazy ants belong to the genus Anaplolopus and are native to Southeast Asia. They thrive in a variety of habitats, including forests, grasslands, urban areas, and coastal ecosystems. Their adaptability to different environments has contributed to their successful establishment in various parts of the world, especially in tropical and subtropical regions. The ants are known for forming supercolonies, which are expansive networks of interconnected nests that can span several hectares. The ants are characterized by their yellowish coloration and their erratic, rapid movements, which contribute to their common name, crazy ants. They exhibit a unique foraging behavior, often traveling in broad trails that resemble flowing rivers of ants. Foraging behavior. One of the most distinctive behaviors of yellow crazy ants is their foraging strategy. They form wide foraging trails that involve thousands of individuals moving in a seemingly chaotic manner. These trails can extend from nests to food sources, and the ants are known to exploit a wide variety of food items, including insects, nectar, honeydew, and even human food. Mutualism with Hemipterans Yellow crazy ants engage in mutualistic relationships with honeydew producing insects such as aphids and scale insects. The ants protect these insects from predators and competitors in exchange for honeydew, a sugary substance secreted by the insects. This mutualism provides a consistent food source for the ants and encourages the growth of aphid populations. Reproduction and Colony Structure Yellow crazy ant colonies are headed by multiple queens, and unlike some other ant species, there is little aggression between colonies. This lack of aggression between supercolonies allows for easy movement of workers between nests, contributing to their expansive network structure. The reproductive capabilities of these ants are unique as well. Some queens reproduce sexually. This reproductive flexibility allows the ants to rapidly establish new colonies and expand their territories. Impacts on ecosystems and agriculture. Yellow crazy ants have become infamous for their negative impacts on ecosystems and agriculture. Their aggressive foraging behavior, large colony sizes, and mutualistic relationships with honeydew producing insects have led to various ecological disruptions. Effects on biodiversity. The ants are aggressive predators, preying on a wide range of insects, including native pollinators and other invertebrates. This predation can disrupt natural food chains and lead to declines in native species populations. Additionally, the protection of honeydew producing insects by the ants can contribute to declines in plant species that are susceptible to aphid infestations. Impact on bird populations Yellow crazy ants have been implicated in the decline of bird populations on certain islands. The ants have been observed swarming over nestlings and adult birds. 
leading to nest abandonment and decreased reproductive success. Birds that rely on a diet of insects may suffer due to the reduction in available prey. Agricultural damage. In agricultural settings, yellow crazy ants can damage crops and reduce yields. They may protect crop pests like aphids, which can lead to increased infestations and reduced crop quality. The ants can also disrupt the balance of beneficial insects, further exacerbating pest problems. Human impact. Besides their ecological consequences. Yellow crazy ants can also cause problems for human activities. They can invade homes, buildings, and infrastructure, creating a nuisance for residents. Their presence in urban areas can result in damage to electrical equipment. As they are attracted to electrical currents and can short-circuit devices. Management Strategies Given the destructive impacts of yellow crazy ants on ecosystems, agriculture, and human activities. Various management strategies have been developed to control and mitigate their spread. Chemical control. Insecticides have been widely used to control yellow crazy ant populations. Baits containing slow-acting insecticides are often employed, as they can be carried back to the nests by worker ants effectively targeting the entire colony. However, the use of chemical control methods raises concerns about environmental impacts and potential harm to non-target species. Biological control. Biological control methods involve introducing natural enemies of the ants to control their populations. One such example is the use of parasitic flies that lay eggs on the ants, leading to the eventual death of the ant host. These methods can be more targeted and have fewer environmental concerns compared to chemical approaches. Hygiene and prevention. For areas not yet infested, preventing the introduction and establishment of yellow crazy ants is crucial. This can be achieved through strict quarantine measures, such as inspections of imported goods, particularly plant material and soil, which can harbor ant colonies. Public awareness and education. Raising awareness among the public, local communities, and industries about the risks associated with yellow crazy ants can encourage proactive measures and reporting of ant sightings. Early detection and reporting can aid in swift response and management efforts. Research and monitoring. Continuous research on the ecology, behavior, and distribution of yellow crazy ants is essential for developing effective management strategies. Monitoring the spread of the ants and their impacts on ecosystems helps guide decision making and adaptive management approaches. Conclusion. Yellow crazy ants, with their unique behaviors and widespread invasive tendencies, pose significant challenges to ecosystems, agriculture, and human activities. Their impact on biodiversity, bird populations, and agricultural systems underscores the importance of effective management strategies. As we continue to learn about these ants and their interactions with the environment, it becomes clear that a combination of approaches, including chemical, biological, and preventative methods, is necessary to mitigate their negative effects and protect our ecosystems. I hope so now you will understand Yellow Crazy Ant. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.